Hi there, YouTube family. We are going to be talking about eight of my favorite foundations that I have in my makeup collection that I wear when it gets warm outside. I love these because they have great staying power. I love them because they of their finishes. So we're gonna get right into this and I'm gonna show you some really great foundations that help with these sweaty, hot, humid summer months. So there are some high end in here and there are some drugstore. There are some high end foundations that I have found that have just been really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work backwards. So we're gonna go from number eight up to number one and so let's start off with Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define Foundation. This is a really, really good coverage foundation, completely full coverage. It does come with this huge doe foot applicator, which I'm not crazy about doe foot applicators. A lot of brands are doing that, but it does come with that and it lasts all day. I'm going to tell you that this foundation is comparable pretty much a good dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, the one that just stays and stays and stays, and this one does the same thing. It is, like I said, it is a little bit thicker of a foundation, so you're going to find that if you like a me medium to light coverage, this one is not going to be for you. But as far as being a long wearing one and holding up in the heat, this is really good. Now, I'm gonna say this before we go on any further. Any of these foundations, I always wear a primer. I almost always powder around my nose and around my T-zone because I get really bad there. And then I always use a very good setting spray, not like a dewy setting spray, a hydrating setting spray, anything like that. If I'm wanting to beat the heat, those three steps go in with my foundations no matter what. So I wanted to make sure I tell you that because if you just try the foundation without those other things, you might not get the results that I do. Okay, number seven is from NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is a pump. This one is full coverage. I have it in natural and it is supposed to be a very long wearing. Now this one does claim to be matte, but you know what you guys, I find that on my skin, it's not totally matte and that's why I love it. It is another thicker foundation. So it is going to give you a full coverage. I like full coverage because I have such bad um, age spots around my face and I do have a lot of redness through here. So I really do appreciate a full coverage, but I know that some people don't. Now, if you wanted to try these for the weather, but you didn't want you know, the, it to be such a full coverage, you could put a little bit of primer in with this and thin it out, or you could do a little bit of moisturizer. But again, the moisturizer is gonna kinda defeat the purpose in that it's going to make it more dewy and not last throughout the day. But this one lasts really good. Love the finish on this one. This one has been, this is number six. This one has been a little controversial, clear through YouTube. A lot of people have tried this. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. It works really good on my aging skin and that's the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I don't know why. I don't have any reason why it works on my skin better than it does on anybody else's, but it just seems to. And let's see what the color of this one is. The color is 210. This is called Pro Filter, and I really do feel like it does give that filtered look to my skin. That soft camera-like skin that everybody covets, you know, I do really feel like it does a really good job. I love the wear time on this. I love that it doesn't show up any of my texture. And this one will last me all day long. I can look in the mirror at night and I will look at it and I'll go, yep, I still got that foundation on. It still looks really good and I just love it. Now my number five is the NYX Total Control Drops, Total Control Foundation Drops. And again, I have this one in natural and that the natural color is my color during the summer months. And then even then it can be a little bit too light when I'm self tanning, but I can put a bronzer on it and get the effect that I want. This is a really, really watery consistency. I mean like droplet water, but Oh my goodness, the coverage on that is fantastic. And not just the coverage, but how super light it is on your skin is amazing. You get that coverage, you get all, all of the things that you need from a full coverage foundation. It does let show a little bit of skin through, but it looks so natural because it is that watery serum consistency. It is just an absolutely gorgeous foundation and I've worn it and worn it in the humidity and it, it holds up like a dream. So I know that this one might not be so good if you're super duper 
dry though, because this might cling to some of your dry patches. But um, I am like, like I said, right now during the summer, I'm like leaning towards combo. So I'm like normal to combo. And then I sweat with my lovely personal summers. So this one is definitely one that I really love. My number four is the It Cosmetics CC Oil Free Matte Foundation. I have this one in light. It seems to work really good for me. And again, I can warm it up with a bronzer as I self tan. But you guys, I didn't think I was going to like this because of my all time favorite of these is just the regular one but this is really good. I don't feel like this keeps me matte. It doesn't make me feel like my skin is dried out or that it doesn't look like, you know, just pretty skin with a little bit of that natural softness to it. I was really impressed with this, but it does keep all of that shine at bay through the day. So I don't have any breakthrough around my nose or anything like that. And I have enjoyed this so much almost to the point dare i say it almost to the point to where i like it a little bit better than the regular one so this one is really good my number three spot goes to the super stay foundation from maybelline and i have this one in light beige and i will tell you right now that this is much too pale for me in the summer when i am tanning but i really have been enjoying this one to death you guys love that it comes in a glass jar and that it has a pump on it this is a fantastic coverage foundation foundation and when it says 24 hour and super stay I'm not going to make that claim to you but I am going to tell you that if you have an event to go to outside where it's going to be really hot and you feel like you're going to be sweating this will last you this will get you through the day it's such a nice foundation for mature skin because I don't feel like it showed up any of my texture I don't feel like it settled into fine lines or anything like that so I really have been enjoying this one this is the one that I just talked about that I said that I'd only had for two months but I have been able to wear it over and over again and just absolutely loved it so good my number two spot goes to the Tarte face tape foundation it's actually called double duty beauty face tape foundation big name i think this is a gorgeous foundation i had a really hard time choosing between this and the number one spot but this foundation even though it's a little bit more expensive this foundation is flawless it's beautiful on the skin now all of these foundations are going to give you just gorgeous finishes and you're going to love them all but this one is absolutely flawless i have never had any problem with this this is one of my ones that i reach for over and over again i switch between this and the number one spot almost all the time and I think this is just something that is really special. So this is in the color 22N Light Neutral. This is a really good color for me in the winter. It is a little bit light in the summer, but I do just a little bit of mix in and it's perfect. But you guys, I fell completely head over heels in love with this. And it knocked the NARS one off of the top spot for me because I used to use the All Day Luminous Weightless from NARS, but I like this one better. And that's saying a lot because I used that one from NARS for years before I started to use that one. Number one spot, drum roll, ba -da -ba -da -ba. It is the Catrice Foundation, the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have these in two colors. One is 020 Rose Beige and the other one is 036 Hazelnut Beige. And I mix these together and it's just about perfect. So it is kind of hard to get your color on this. But if you go on the Catrice website, there's so many more colors than there even are on Ulta now. For a while there, they just had a couple and it was like, no, no, guys, got to get more colors because not everybody is a pasty babe like I am. But when they did come out with the colors, this foundation, you guys, if you haven't tried it, it's only $11 and you can get it on sale all the time. But if you haven't tried this, please, please, please go out and try this foundation because it's so, so good. I find that I can put this on in the morning. It doesn't take a lot of work to blend it in. My skin is covered. It's covered in a, you know, a very light serum-like foundation. Um, this is very, you know, watery like the NYX. Not as quite as watery as that, but a little bit. I do like that it has the dropper that comes out, not something that you're touching your skin. So I don't feel like you get a lot of contamination with it that way either. But it's super light when it goes on your skin and the coverage is just stinking phenomenal. I mean, I could put this on my skin and I bet I could even wash my, my hand like three or four times and it would still be there. It's, it's so pretty on the way that it covers. 
the way that it covers, you know, super hard to cover blemishes or dark spots or anything like that. And then the way that it wears throughout the day, I have absolutely no breakup around my nose, no breakup anywhere on my face. I can sweat like a crazy woman and it holds up through all of that. And I absolutely love this. This will be in the number one spot for a long time this is just something that's really good and like i said these two foundations i switch off between them almost every day i do use all of my foundations but i do really really love these two and i find myself reaching for them the most right now those are the ones that i would highly recommend for these hot summer months and to help get you through those sweaty days when it's humid outside and yeah it's just kind of nasty and yucky and i hope that some of them will work for you guys that's everything for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that you guys do that for me. As always, I appreciate your time and I know that it's valuable and thank you for spending part of that with me. You guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you all in my next video. Love you, bye-bye.